everyone, my name is Miranda and I'm an educator here at the Berman Museum. Right now we're in our Deadly Beauty Gallery and we've brought another special object up from collections to show you as a special treat. So what I have in my hands looks like a giant chocolate bar, but it's actually called Tea Money. Tea Money is exactly what it sounds like. It can be used either to make a pot of tea or it can be used as currency in exchange for goods and services. And it was especially popular in areas of the world where um, hard coin made of metal wasn't as readily available like in the U.S. colonies. Um, now tea money is made by pressing tea leaves together with a binding agent such as flour or even blood and then the bricks were left out to dry. So looking at this tea money, this is actually what you would find on a lot of British merchant ships right around the time of the American Revolution rather than big barrels of loose leaf tea because these were more valuable and had more durability than the loose leaf at a long voyage at sea. So it brings a little humor to the situation when you realize that the colonists at the Boston Tea Party weren't really dumping large vats of tea leaves over the side, but rather they were flinging these little babies like frisbees. To see more everyday objects from our history, come visit us here at the Berman Museum.